feel like this story in my life is so tired because I've told it to my fans multiple times. But for whatever reason, when I'm working on the album, I always have vocal issues. It's a bummer, man, because it's like, I'm a singer. And every time I make an album, I seem to go through some intense thing with Love and War, lost my voice for three months and had this whole kind of crazy thing happen. It came back and that's its own story. But with this as well, um, the month leading up to leaving for Charlottesville a year ago, um, I like didn't have a voice. So I almost, the week that I was supposed to leave just before I got a hold of Isaac and said, hey man, what are the chances of just canceling? Like not doing this. I know we had this idea. He's like, well, you sort of committed to it and all the musicians have their plane tickets and I've rented the studio space. So I suggest you come. And I was like, I'll be there. Yeah. He's like, you're gonna forfeit all the money if you don't at this point. So I was like, all right. I told my wife, Michelle, I'm gonna go. I might have to just like whisper songs have these guys record stuff and then I'll make sense of it when I get home, you know? This feels like a losing endeavor to me, you know? Um, I had this morning, Michelle and the kids took off and I don't always do this. I'm not, I'm like sort of, I don't know if charismatic is the word, but I felt like I was supposed to just walk around the house like praising the Lord with a voice that I didn't have. So I would like was walking around the house. It was a sunny day, you know, in July, like sort of croaking um, and singing as best I could and just like praising the Lord, you know, like you're going to you're going to have victory. I don't I don't know why I have to go through these times that the very thing I feel like I'm made to do is so often taken away from me, you know. Um, and something happened like. 45 minutes in and that's a long time if you're not accustomed like I'm I don't do that very often so 45 minutes of walking around the house like you know what I mean just like pushing in something happened like my emotions changed and you've heard people talk about this like the power of praise you know what I mean but that thing whatever that is happened man like something opened you know and it was in this house just walking around something happened and I just started like weeping <sighs> And I sensed his like presence, man. Enter the house. And I like, I had my own time with him. I'm not gonna tell you what we talked about. You know what I mean? But I had this time that was meaningful. And then I did this thing. I like, I said, Lord, send a man and a woman to pray for me today. And even as I said, I was like, why did I say like a man and a woman? Like, it seemed like specific in a way that I didn't even know why I said it, you know? And then my, like, my wife and kids came home and I said, I, you know, I had a great time. My wife went down for a nap with our younger ones. And I hear a knock at the door and it's some friends of ours that I hadn't seen for months and months. A husband and a wife came. They're like, we just happened to be walking in the neighborhood and we like, we just wanted to walk up and see if you were home. And I like pointed them and said, can you guys pray for me? And they're like, yeah. I said, do you believe in healing? And they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> so they like came in to this living room and they're like, this is so exciting. We just felt like compelled to walk up to your front door. And I was like, I need, I need prayer. Like I'm supposed to record an album and I don't have a voice. I don't know what's happening, you know? So he started praying for me and um, he started praying in tongues over me while, cause he didn't know what to pray. He like had his hands on my arm and as he was praying, I had this vision of like a black cocoon sort of like a black rib cage almost, but it was my throat and it like opened up and then this like butterfly crawling out and like spreading its wings and taking off. And like when he was done, he said, did you feel anything or like sense anything? And I was like, I just, all that happened is I had this like vision in my mind of like my throat sort of like blackness opening up and something like crawling out. And he said, that's interesting, because as I was praying for you, I had this word chrysaline, chrysaline, that was going through my mind. And he's like, I don't know what that means, but that's what I was seeing. I was like, I don't doubt it. I mean, it's, it's close to the word chrysalis, but okay, man. So we like, we hugged and I thanked him for coming. And I was like, wow, man, like, cool. Like, answer the prayer, you know? My voice didn't heal right away, but there was some purpose in it, you know what I mean? And, um, all that summer, man, like butterflies would hold this like sort of like deep significance to me as I 
looked forward and hoped that I think you're doing something, man, that these struggles I go through, like, you're gonna like maybe release something. There'll be an end to this. That's it. There'll be an end to this. And like, you'll have the last word. And even like a chrysalis being this picture of like resurrection of a worm hardening, you know, dying almost, transforming and then emerging is something that like is totally different. You know, it's a wild thing. If you sit and allow yourself to think about the metamorphosis of a worm to a butterfly, it's, it's sort of staggering, you know. So yeah, man, that happened. <laughs> that happened, that happened. I guess part of the story too, though, is before that even happened, I had this little melody. It was the last song we recorded when I was down in Charlottesville. We had 10 minutes left. And I was like, hey guys, I have this one other idea. All I have is the melody. And all I have is the chorus is gonna go, oh, 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 butterfly. And they're like, all right, let's record it. We got 10 minutes, he's gotta get to the airport. So we sat there and it was the last thing we recorded was just tracking this little like melody I had. And so that happened as well. So it was like this beginning of a song that had come before this time of prayer, this vision, this word crystalline, this, yeah, this song that only had one word, oh, butterfly, you know? And then all of a sudden, then I, after that, this year I've been like attaching words to that song and then completing that song, which interestingly enough, this whole season for me has been one of hiddenness, one of winter, one of like, if I had to make sense of where I'm at right now, I'm inside the cocoon, you know what I mean? I had a lot of years, <laughs> like, uh, squirming around as a, as a worm, you know? But I feel like for whatever reason, circumstance in life has brought me to this moment where I, yeah, something's happening inside, something's changing, you know? And I think these songs come from it. And even in particular, the song Butterfly is directly connected to this experience and what I feel like this album embodies in some ways, which is why I call the album Chrysaline. So, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,